let's get into some Aussie cross or Euro. Uh, sorry, yen crosses can't yen crosses can't think. Okay, so chart from last week that I loved, um, which again I would pay close attention to that 134.30 level in Euro yen. You can see the high here from 2014 to 2016. That 618 level is 134.30. Two legs up from the 2020 low is 134.30. So 134.30, big. We're also riding along uh, trend line resistance here, as you can see. Um, I would call this a wedge of sorts. Let's see, sometimes we get, I explained this last week, but sometimes you get a uh, kind of a thrust above the top of the wedge and a reversal below, right? We would call that a terminal thrust in Elliott parlance. So let's see if we can get that, and that would be a bearish trigger pound yen continues to march along higher and at this point uh the obvious level to take out is going to be the february 2018 high if you get above that watch for channel resistance which is a little bit higher about 157 30 or so it looks to be about i don't know 40 pips or so above this level, um, the 2018 high, of course, it's going to increase slightly each day. What's interesting as well, so if you trade above that 2018 high, guess what? Pound yen is going to be trading into the Brexit level, right? That was Brexit right there. Okay. June 23rd close is pre-Brexit level, and that is 157.66. Let's make that this thick line so we know where it is. So that is 157.66. That is a big level. Okay. That's where I'm looking. Aussie yen. And again, this is what I was saying about um, the yen crosses and being similar to Bitcoin in a way. Because do you remember we talked about uh, topping formations in Bitcoin and yen crosses, notably Aussie yen, since February? Well, here's February. Here's now. We haven't gone anywhere. The level we've been trying to get, uh, or, or that I've been following, is 8640. And we wanted to get kind of a tag of that level and then see if we could reverse. We just haven't been able to do it. I've been waiting like half a year for it, uh, it seems. But that's still the spot to look at. And again, um, you know, down here, let's call that 80, low 83s. That's going to be a trigger for downside in Aussie yen. And that's all I've got uh, for now. I just had a question on Kiwi CAD. I can't say I've really looked at that much, if ever. Um, what I wanted to point out real fast before I go to that or look at Kiwi CAD is this is what I was talking about when I was talking about Bitcoin and yen crosses, notably Aussie yen. So here's Aussie yen. Let's put in Bitcoin and see what happens. Okay. Let's go log scale. Log scale. Okay. Here you go. So, notably since the March 2020 low, right, at times pretty darn close, and really since, uh, I'd say, the start of the year, they've been really, really close. So, it's a technical term, really, really close. All right, here you go. Bitcoin in orange, Aussie yen in black. Pretty good, huh? So I don't know, the fact that Bitcoin starts to break down, I'm wondering if Aussie yen uh, and yen crosses generally 
are going to attempt to do the same thing. All right. <clears throat> okay, so Kiwi CAD was the question. Kiwi CAD. Let's see. Hmm. Kiwi CAD. What do we have here? Seems to be in essentially the middle of nowhere. For me, the way I look at it, I mean, let's see, let's see if there's a trend line here that we could have a look see at. I mean, you've got, okay, so like, this trend line, right? We've kind of been trying to hold that. So you, I guess, um, you know, and you've got these levels over here, you know, I guess you could kind of hold a constructive view against the low down here. Um, what's that? 86 and change. Uh, other than that, I just don't have much of a uh, view on KiwiCAD. I can safely say this is across that I have not paid much attention to um, over the years. Okay, um, that's all I've got for today. Um, I did want to mention to you guys, please uh, take a look um, towards the bottom of the screen. You'll see there's a telegram uh, channel, okay, um, that you can sign up for, and you should go check that out. So, yeah, sign up on Telegram. Um, and uh, other than that, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you're in the U.S., of course, happy Memorial Day weekend to you. Uh, and enjoy the long weekend here in the U.S. And that is all. All right. So, everyone, have a great one. And I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye. So, as you know, uh, or should know, I am uh, working with Scandinavian Capital Markets as the chief technical strategist. Uh, we're based in Stockholm. Uh, Scandinavian Markets is a market maker. And we are looking for profitable traders to join our ranks. We have clients all over the globe. Uh, that are looking for more strategies to invest in. So if you are a profitable trader and you would like to get into the money manager world, um, you know, all goes according to plan and things go well, you can get your, uh, you know, you can get your strategy funded with up to $2 million. Okay. So come and show us your skills. Uh, to register, go to scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trades. Again, that is scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trade.